All right. Ooh, I had a... Oh, that flipped it. All right, this is now <laughs> part three. That's trash. Where's we at, man? Yeah, this is part three. Y'all gotta go watch the first video, or whatever. Is that 24? Yeah. Yeah, where's we at on that? Is it's there it. more juice in there? It says, uh, verse 9 says, They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. This oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Read that again. Listen. They, they shall not drink wine with a song. They shall not drink wine with the song. All the bars are shut down. All the clubs are shut down. All the concerts, all the festivals, all they shut that shit down. Okay, so y'all, y'all was a little happy, a little way, you know, partying, not giving a fuck. You know what I mean? Y'all lollygagging around. Y'all little way of life has got put put to a rest, man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Y'all is not out here having fun. You're at home, miserable all day. Now that's beautiful. And you bitches don't need to be leaving the house no goddamn way. You know what I mean? Going to the club acting like some whores. Oh, I seen a bitch post a meme. Sorry. Bitch post a meme about something like her calling her friend up saying, let's go out and be whores tonight. And she's she like, oh, I'll just tell my husband it's a ladies' night out. And that's what they do, you know? They'll have some oh, ladies' night out and your husbands will actually let their wife go out with all their friends. Don't ever do that. She's getting fucked. She's, you know what I mean? They going to them clubs and they getting freaky. You know, you know how you know how these women go, bro. They up in the club, they all start shaking their ass and twerking. They they start smacking each other's ass as some dude to come up and stick his face in it, start shaking it. You know what I mean? The Lord, he just put it all to a rest. There's no more of that. At least for the, you know, for the, for the foreseeable future. That's beautiful, man. Shut all the bars now. That's beautiful. They should have stopped selling alcohol. That would have been even more beautiful. There was a rumor going on, but it wasn't true. Or they stopped selling alcohol. Whoo, y'all be through. He says, uh... Oh, another one. That shit is beautiful. They shut down the, uh, the movie theaters, too. Sorry. There's no movie theaters. That's good, because that, that, that's more... Well, they watching Netflix, though. You know what I mean? Because really, all that Hollywood shit is garbage anyway. So that's really hurting Hollywood now. They losing money, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, shit. It says, uh... It says, uh... The uh, city of confusion is broken down. Every the house. city of confusion. That's why America's called Babylon. Babylon the Great. The word Babel means confusion. And this is nothing but confusion out here. People worship all kind of different gods. But you got like thousands of different forms of Christianity. Nobody agrees on nothing. Okay? That's confusion. You got children don't even know who their uh, father is. You know what I mean? You got uh, a woman. A woman to have uh, five children with five different baby daddies. That's goddamn confusion. More than one baby's daddy. It's, 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 having the word baby daddy, that's confusion baby's daddy you mean the husband the father but they got this new word baby's daddy because y'all bitches are a bunch of whores this is uh, uh there is a crime for wine in the streets all joy is darkened all joy is darkened well, these people they panicking they ain't panicking out here bro you go to the grocery store people's panicking you see people trying to they're staying away from you like if somebody coughs or sneezes and <laughs> people start bugging out, they start running. Oh, shit. Oh, you see your boy Trump? He's on the press conference. That one bitch, she's like, I had a fever yesterday morning. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> He's got him out of there. That shit was hilarious. And that's one good thing, too. We get them Trump press conferences every day. That's just some good entertainment right there. He's a goddamn fool. Gee. Man, he's like a stand-up comedian. That's like a stand-up bit he's doing. This shit is great. What else you got? It says the Murph of the Land is gone. The Murph of the Land is gone. It's gone. You can see it's gone. 
Man, ain't nobody out here is joyous. Oh, you can't have a birthday party. I see somebody got. I seen crazy people starting to call the cops on each other. People, if they see more than five people at your house, they get naked calling the cops. Oh, they gotta have a gathering of people. You know, like like normal human activity. But they got people snitching on each other now for being in groups. You know what I mean? Oh, the mayor of New York just put out a thing. He said, uh, if you don't obey social social distancing rules, that you're going to get a $500 fine. I mean, is that a law, though? Social, is that, that's not a law. That's a little executive order. I mean, it's a law if they said it, I guess. That's a little executive order bullshit they put out. It ain't no real law. Get down to verse uh, 18, and, and and it shall come to pass that who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh out of the mission. It said, He that fleeth from the noise of the. What did it say? Read that. Yeah. It said, He gonna. You, you flee from it, then you fall into the pit. That's kind of like that Amos saying it. So, uh, he that cometh out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in a snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the Ooh. foundations of the earth do shake. Ooh, the windows. See, this is ultimately all leading up to that. To the uh, the destruction, that's gonna be the cherry on top is the missiles, cause that's what's coming. That's what this is all leading up to. Is leading up to the missiles, and that's the that's the end of it. Just like you read in Joel Joel uh, earlier, what uh, it was, I forget exact words. It's pretty much desolation and destruction behind us, or a fire that burneth behind us, but in front of us is gonna be the kingdom. So this destruction that the Lord's bringing to the earth, that's gonna lead to the kingdom. For the kingdom of the Lord to come on the earth, this kingdom got to be destroyed. You think America, did y'all think America was still going to exist when the kingdom of heaven came? You got your goddamn mind. Those, you know people that say, America is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, America, I've heard people say, they'll say America is the new Jerusalem. This is the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. Earth is moving exceedingly. Who the earth is moving exceedingly? How does the earth get moved exceedingly? That's by the missiles. Go ahead. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. It's gonna reel to and fro like a drunkard. This shit gonna be wobbling. It's gonna be wide. <laughs> you know, you see the wobble had the drunk. You see it? It's just wobbling. What else could do that? It's the missiles. Go ahead. It shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof. Shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. It shall fall and not rise again. So when America falls, it ain't, it's not gonna rise again. It's not gonna be no more America. It's gonna be bye bye America. So <laughs> no, no more America. It's the greatest country on earth, you sons of bitches. That's what people would tell us. If you had a street teacher, what you say about my country? You disrespect my flag, boy. Trash. Please. <laughs> yeah, this shit is trash. The greatest country is about to be the kingdom of heaven, bitch. Yeah, that's, that's the gonna be the greatest. The, yeah, that's the that's the. <laughs> yeah, these people uh, they would choose America over the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> uh, this shit, this shit <laughs> trash, man. This, this shit is trash. It's built it on fucking wickedness, goddammit. it. And the laws are wicked as hell. Pretty much all the people are slaves. Here it is. America is literally the slavery country. It was literally, you can't make it up. It this is the country that said uh, all men are created equal. He wrote that while he had slaves. Where do they do that at? In America, that's where they do that at. And then y'all believe in it. And y'all you know, still see, you got, you got uh, so called black people celebrate the 4th of July. When, uh, in 1776, so-called black people were in slavery. So how in the hell are you going to celebrate some goddamn independence? Does that sound like independence to you? How is that independence? It, this shit is madness, man. I mean, you looked all through the history. Oh, that's another thing, too. And people, here it is. This country is founded on slavery, genocide. Uh, you remember the Tuskegee Airmen thing? When they gave us... Uh, them Jakes, uh, they gave them syphilis, right? And they gave them so-called black uh, pilots. They was injecting them with syphilis with secret experiments. I mean, this is the United States government. Oh, so that's a bio-warfare right there. 
You know what I'm saying? On their own people. Well, so-called American citizens. But here, this is the same government, you know, that the, the murder and the genocide of millions of natives. You know, this, fun this country is founded on slavery. I mean, we can go through all the fucked up history of this country in, the, in this government. And then you still got people to listen to the government. Like, like this trustworthy or something. You know, I mean, all during this corona shit, everybody they believe everything the government says. Like they is trustworthy and honorable. You, you can trust us. Oh yeah, to uh, did you know? You know what demo side is? Demo side is death by government. Okay, and uh, demo. Go look it up. They got an article on Wikipedia or, or wherever. But you gonna uh, you got a dictionary on you? Uh, I ain't bring my dictionary. I got a flood that destroyed a couple of them. So, yeah, that's fucked up. But demo side means death by government. If you look it up, demo side is the number one murderer of humans in history. Is death by government. And that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So the government's responsible for more murders and deaths than anything else in history. So why the hell are you gonna believe the government for anything they said? I mean, you got you got to be. Uh, you gotta be fucking retarded. So, stupid. What is it? Uh, uh, trust and oppression. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's an Isaiah 2, ain't it? They trust. <laughs> they make lives, lies their refuge. Their lies feel good. They would lie to me more, baby. <laughs> whisper that in my ear. Man, come on, man. You can't believe a goddamn thing the government says. They're going to lie about everything. Oh, just like that Amy, that Dr. Amy bitch. You watched the, uh, how many coronavirus cases are there in the United States? Like 100,000 now, right? I think it's reached about 100,000. But this dumb bitch, I can use that word because what she did was evil. That Dr. Amy, they call her, she's always, every press conference the governor Mike DeWine does, she's right there with him. You know what I'm talking about, right? You've watched this thing. Then she's the doctor of Ohio, or whatever. But like three weeks ago, this bitch came out and said there was already a hundred thousand corona. She said there's probably already a hundred thousand coronavirus cases in Ohio already. There's gonna be millions soon, causing mass panic. They did that on purpose to cause mass panic, because they want these people, you know, to rush to the stores and buy everything. Esau wants y'all to do that. And y'all did exactly what you was programmed to do. People buying up all the toilet paper. You still can't find toilet paper. That's become a meme. You know? <laughs> There's your girl. <laughs> She's peeping us. So. <laughs> oh, you got more on that? What time is it? That camera probably gonna die soon. You wanna wrap it up soon? We pretty much said everything we got to say today. I mean, we just, it's almost 5 o'clock anyway. We pretty much said all we could say, man. What else is more to say? We've been warning y'all for years. And now you see, we in the park. And it's actually people, we've seen a couple, a couple of nice looking women. That's a, you know, they, right, there's a couple of people, that's why they heard a little something we were saying. But now, man, it's almost too late. You, it's, if we get to the time now, it's almost going. It's going to be soon. It's going to be too late, man. Y'all didn't heed the warnings. Now it's getting too late for you. Lord, ain't you know what I mean? <laughs> you got anything else you want to bring out before you turn this off? Yes, sir. All right, dude. We're just gonna say Shalom, I guess. We'll just say Shalom. Yes, sir.